Hi everyone. So today I'm just going to touch base on Matthew Perry, who used to be Chandler in Friends, who passed away on the 28th of October, I've got noted here. I think I knew about it around the 30th of October, maybe the 29th. And, um, I mean, I was a fan when he was in Friends. But then I don't really know what happened to him and I never really looked into anything. What I know about him is going to take quite a bit of this video. <laughs> Just joking. All I know is that he drowned at the age of 54 and it was on the 28th of October. And when I heard drowned, I was like, what came to my mind straight away was Whitney Houston. Um... What I do want to say, okay, with the drownings, and then after, of course, Whitney Houston came to mind, there's her daughter, there's Aaron Carter, there's others, and I'm like, oh, here we go, Hollywood and the drowning. Now, let me know in the comments, in terms of drowning, why would it be occur, why would it occur accidental death? Is this something that, you know, disenables, disables someone from being able to stop themselves from drowning? In third party situations, why would drowning be a good idea? I'm leaving that there so that people can make comments. So that's all I know about him. I didn't look up his date of birth, I didn't look up anything, and I thought it'd be good to tap into it in this reading. I want to be clear that I'm not channeling Matthew Perry, unless I feel he comes through, which is funny because I straight away feel it's not going to be... I'm not sure, I just feel like it might not be the case, but I'm going to tap into the energy and we're just saging the cards here. I know I'm late doing this, I wanted to do it a couple of days ago, but um, just been really tied up with clients, energy healing, readings. Okay, so let's put this out now. So that I don't choke myself to my <laughs> doing the tapping. So any of you that are Matt Perry fans, I want to hear from you because you're going to know. But what I did do is, after some notes of trying to sort of think about it a bit, I actually decided, seen as not seen him, I've mainly seen him on Friends. I think on the Friends reunion, I felt like he was sort of disin, not disengaged, but if there was one person that wasn't, and I felt like they were all kind of pretending they're all very close-knit, but they're not. It was very clear they're not very close-knit. Um, I felt like he was the one that was just more distant than the others. And that could be that he didn't feel he could put on the front as much as others, that they were still very tight and close. Do you know when you have to go to those kind of like dinner parties and you just kind of like have to be your mature self and kind of like, yeah, I'm not, I don't mean to be fake, but like, it's not like you can just sit there and be your authentic self and vibe. You need to put up on a bit of a front, watch what you're saying a little bit um, and just be nice that kind of thing and I felt maybe maybe he's, he wasn't comfortable with that but I also feel um, because what I did is I'd seen that a long time ago I haven't seen it now but I remember distinctly th feeling I was feeling a bit uncomfortable with their energies like I just didn't feel they were connected as close as maybe they felt they were I think the girls are a bit closer to each other than the guys and the guys if they do talk then it'll be with each other um but i do think if anyone's closer it's kind of the girls with the girls 
I don't really think that, um, I know they've always said that Courtney and Jennifer Aniston were are very close outside. I don't, just now as I question that, I don't feel it is as much as a close-knit bond, but I don't know, again, I've not looked at their energy or their pictures, um, but that's what I'm sensing. Um, so I felt like he was the one person that was just maybe a bit more closed off, maybe feeling a bit more uncomfortable with it. And I'm, I think I'm going to get into why that is further along the lines. So because I hadn't seen, I'd seen friends and then I'd seen that reunion when they had it. When was it? Can someone remind me? I've not re seen it again. I decided... Let me just pop on his Instagram and see what the last post is. And I saw like a couple of posts of like Matt Man. And it was kind of, I feel like there was secret messages there. I really, um, not because it was like, oh, this is a beautiful sky. And I am in, I don't know, California. Um, no, I meant because... And he's like, for example, he hasn't written those captions. So whatever he writes is weird. I don't mean that. I mean, there was, I feel a sense there was actually messaging in that. And I don't want to say uh, as I get into the reading, but I feel um, he knew something was coming. Okay. I feel he knew something was coming and I bear messaging, uh, messages there. Um, and it seems like I think there was one where I saw where it was Batman lights um, and I think you know so it was something you know there's something around Batman like I said I've not looked into these if I were to sit and tap into energies I'd probably get more messages but I think I know what I want to say in this video um, so how he drowned if he drowned in a bathtub or not I don't know I presume it's at his home he was 54, which is a very intriguing number. But I also feel like um, tapping into his energy right now, I think he's got top placements in um, it was a lunar eclipse in Taurus, but I don't think Taurus, I think Leo. And he might have like a top placement of a moon or something in Aquarius or Scorpio. Anyway, I feel like there's four, four signs that have a major impact on him. Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius and Taurus not as much. But because there was a lunar eclipse, I'm including it in there. But I really feel those three signs um, and two of them very dominant in his energy. And I think the whole energy of those three days... Whatever happened actually was there wiping him out. So what I mean by that before I get into saying maybe third parties or whatever is that if you're in a situation, let's say there's high potent energies, um, astrological or in the earth, okay, and you are in a situation of maybe fighting for your life or in a let's say an accident um things can go more to the worse side than the positive side that help the energy that helps you actually fight and combat so an accident can be even worse or you know it, you trying to struggle let's say you're drowning trying to struggle for your breath the energy is not going to be with you um, and depending on the astrology and your top placements at that time and that's why I really feel he had those top placements and it's a lunar eclipse there's a massive completion it's not even the solar eclipse and new moon it's a lunar it's a completion and I really feel that that was not um, in the positive energy for him um, So going back to what I was saying, I'd seen him in friends, seen him in the reunion. And then so what I did is I decided to just look at his Instagram. I looked at a few posts. I don't know how long that Batman, Batman kind of stuff has been going on, if it's been for quite some time. I just saw the first four or five posts to see when he was last on Instagram. 
and then obviously on the last photo there's always people that just say um you know they send their condolences which i find is is really nice um because it all helps the soul and um i then decided you know obviously when a, a celebrity passes sometimes on youtube you'll get some stuff that comes up that's like um ex's person's last interview or last few days or you know some stuff and it's not always true so don't always fall in that trap but i saw like it must have been one of his latter interviews or at least the last five years interview um and for me he was classically um i think he had an addiction a strong i strongly feel he had an addiction and i think he was battling that um, I might be stating something that people already know um, because I feel 100% that is. Um, when I saw his energy, um, I think there's been... It's quite easy for maybe channelers to say that he was maybe into... more demonic sort of way like tied to contract satanic kind of beliefs and stuff like that but that i believe comes from the addiction um i also believe that his energy is um has the gaps and the gaps of that is and the mask he puts up where i said in terms of um when he was on that friends reunion is kind of put in a wall um, and it's it's because of the addiction and I feel there might have been some shame around his addiction so when I saw him in that thing I felt like um, his biggest addiction was not a drug it was maybe alcohol and with that maybe there's painkillers but I don't feel that it was like a street drug kind of aura energy around him I felt like there was um, more or less um, disconnect where his soul was there and he was there, but there was also wavering. I'm not saying wavering that he's going to leave the earth, but there was a, clearly he had had a drink and had something that morning or that evening before the interview. Um, that was very, very clear, you know, more than just a shot to give you the confidence to go on stage. And so I do think he battled an addiction, but I do feel like the drowning in the was it a bathtub or was it does he have like a swimming pool or an outside well or jacuzzi i'm not necessarily getting a bathtub But I am getting at his home. So I think he had some dark emotions. I also think he felt like um, maybe because of the addiction that he had shame around it. And so that really made him feel maybe a sense of less worthiness, um, especially when you're in a team of like, you know, friends. And then what happens there is you actually um there's going to be a lot of comparison and obviously you know we go through those phases with who's your favorite who's your favorite you remember those times where you have and that can be i think that can be quite harsh on someone to be honest with you um and so what i would say is that i think he did battle addiction i do think that um he might have had maybe like a, a pain color or a numbing thing. I'm just looking up the text message that I wrote to myself around this. I felt like there was a message around it. I'm, my nose is itchy, so I'm channeling something.
I also feel if there's not been an autopsy, because I don't know if they've already announced that I was drowning. Now, if they say it's drowning and he's either the breath or cardiac arrest, that doesn't mean there wasn't involvement because um, that's how you're going to go out eventually, you know, like if it is it's that sort of stuff, it's either your breath or your heart and there's going to be a cause around that. So I don't know if the autopsy has proven any addiction in terms of what, I don't think there's street drugs there, I feel like it's more his energy that when I saw in that interview was alcohol and painkillers. I won't be surprised if he was on like an antidepressant uh, as well uh, as an, an or an anti-anxiety but painkillers like neurotics. Um, I think also with his passing, I think within a, from the angel realms, he's going to actually, this is making me feel quite emotional. Um, I think he's going to be trying to help people that have felt the same way as him. Um, maybe quite alone, not fully uh, understood with the pressure of needing to be in a certain way. What I mean by that is, um, I don't know at the time of Chandler if he was in a happy place or not. But like I said, having those, um, being part of a cast, you always like want to live up to the role, but also I think it comes a time where you know, if you are starting to be the fa one of the favourites or people are saying, who's your favourite, who's your favourite, uh, maybe there starts to come a pressure there to be, like, loved by the public as well. I also feel like he was maybe... Um, do you know when you have those friends, and I could be one of them, where they go out and then they're like, okay, I'm done now, I'm off to do my own thing. Um, and they might go back home or they might go do their own thing. I feel like he was one of those people or he might not be even go out, he might just say, yeah, you guys go out, have fun. I'm not gonna join this time and he'll do his own thing. Like, not necessarily a loner or a lonely, but prefers to do his own thing and it might be around just chilling alcohol um, and painkillers. Um, I don't think he was in a relationship. I think he was a happy-go-lucky inner child. And I think like what life does to most of us, sadly, is that we, we lose that. We lose that happy-go inner child. Even the inner child that's fierce and doesn't feel anything, we lose it because life does knock us down. And I think um, he's always had that happy-go-lucky inner child, but he's battled with um, the pain of addiction where he's felt like his release is of the addiction. The addiction's releasing him from what he was not able to face or overcome, but yet then it always, you know, that it will always bite you back harder. Yeah. Um, so I think there was dark emotions there and maybe this was around from a stemming of the childhood time. I'm getting a parent wound here. Um, there might have been at certain aspects some mental, emotional kind of A, A, B, U, S, E. And obviously pressures around the industry and even if he wasn't subject to something in the industry, I do believe that, you know, once you're in the industry, you could be exposed to things. So let's put up the disclaimer. Disclaimer, this is for entertainment purposes only. Please use your own fact finding and discernment. This is allegedly my belief and I'm using tarot and my own divination 
to provide this entertainment purposes only. Thank you. I felt like at times he would spiral, but he'd feel most at peace when he was kind of alone and um, just, you know, kind of um, then having his escape. Like it was his only downtime of escape, of not feeling things or the mental side when he was on um, alcohol and painkillers. And I can guarantee you, especially as my channel grows, that there'll be people that watch this that actually do the same and battle the same, okay? And that's where he felt like that's where he would go do his own thing. And it was his only outlet to feel better. Um, he was definitely um, battling some demons you know, or darkness like we all do. And I think also his career, I, I'm not sure if he tried to continue to be without friends, to be a, a main name, and did he struggle there? And then when he eventually accepted that, did he decide actually, I can't be doing with this playing up with an image anyway. And what I know is he wrote a book, was it biography? I've not read it. If someone's read it, please let me know in the comments. And so maybe that's when also he was like, I know stuff, I've been exposed to stuff and I don't like it. Yet I do want to continue my career, but I'm not really, the word facade is coming to, to me as I say this. Um, like I mentioned, the thing I haven't seen, and I don't check the news, just wait for things to pop up on my YouTube, and recently there's very random stuff which makes me feel like the algorithm is putting my videos between random stuff like fluffy asthma, I don't know what the hell is going on. And that's why I always like for someone to just make a comment, even if it's just an emoji, anything, um, because it really does help. I see like the views on on um, content that has a comment and likes and it really helps it get out and then the views seem to double just because of a comment and you don't even have to a comment takes nothing but it just helps if you've enjoyed the video you don't even have to write me anything but if you've enjoyed the video it really does help get it out in the algorithm and so um where was i going with this oh i haven't seen uh, yeah, I was going to say is I haven't seen any sort of friends, anyone from friends actually saying condolences. I should have checked their Instagram to see if they posted something, but I feel like they might have done, they probably have done it now, um, maybe a joint statement. So if they've done that, let me know. Um, I might, after this recording, look it up to see if I can see anything. But I do think there's going to be a joint statement, but I don't think they're individually going to state something. Um, like I said, I don't think they were all as close as they are, and then they're not as close as they were um, or are. And I think there was definitely a disconnect with him. Um, like he was more cut off than everyone else. And I could see that in that reunion. Um, I don't know if there was negligence in this from him and from anyone else. So I do feel that. Like I said, when you think of drowning and you think of uh, people going out that way, think of why that would happen. Okay. Why would that happen? And how can it be if it's not substance? How can it be? How can like think of water and electricity and then after that sort of proof of stuff um but like the reason i'm reading on it is because as soon as it was said i got here we go just in my mind automatically here we go again with the drowning um and what in houston came to me so 
let's kick in. I'm not really sure what I'm asking, but let's kick in and ask. I might actually look at his top placements after this. Some of you might end up beating me to check that. Okay, so before I get into it, I want to see. Um, and if his autopsies come out, you have to let me know, does it say cardiac arrest um, with the drowning? Does it say anything about substance? Spirit, please show me Matthew Perry's death. Why am I getting, look at the initials of his full name, which is Matthew, is it Longford Perry, MLP, what is that? Why is that significant? What is it spelling? Matthew Perry's death please spirit. I think there's going to be a card coming up, like, so there's definitely a card that I think is going to confirm what I'm saying. Or do I take that? Okay, so there's feminine energy around him at the time of his death. There's feminine energy around him at the time of his death. Okay. Knight of Pentacles, Page of Cups, Death and Rebirth, it's a death card, he's dead. This is a concern when I'm doing some readings and the death card will not come up. Like if I do a reading on Epstein and some of my death cards don't come up um, and I'm already doubting the energy, that would tell me, that would confirm for me. So he is definitely dead. I know you know that, but like, Knight of Cups. So we've got the Page, we've got the Knight of Cups. We've got the Chariot moving forward. We've got the female energy, the Empress, and the Queen of Cups Society. I wonder, actually before I say that, let's just tap into this, so. I wonder if there was a love interest that was a bit younger than him. I just want to clarify a card because it's something that I want to say and I just want to clarify. So I asked to be shown pentacles and wands and I really wanted to, I really wanted to say that this is someone delivering something to him. I don't know if he'd made an order, but also I think this delivery of, this is kind of the things that maybe the alcohol, the painkillers he takes um, that either a collected or brought forward someone bringing these to him okay so that day he did have i don't care what the autopsy says he had alcohol and painkillers in him okay the page of cups which is the the younger sort of interest
partnership. So I think there's a feminine energy, there's someone, there's a partnership around those things to be brought. And also, I wouldn't be surprised if it made a general an order, like maybe, uh, I don't know, an order for groceries, food order, but there, there's a delivery here, a partnership of like these substances and also this theme, there's a female here. So I don't know who this is. There's a female here that could be a bit of a love interest, a bit old, a younger than him. Leo energy. And he was interested in her. But like not in a weird way just quite you know making the romantic gestures where she was quite the dreamer and more into like maybe less emotionally mature in a strength that he needed that day he was feeling he was feeling When I say romantic, I don't mean that they were having a romance, but do you know when you do feel there's a partnership, there's a connection there? Um, I, won't, I wouldn't be surprised if there was a bit of kind of um, interest in each other or if they are dating or something like that. There's a female here. Um, and I mentioned about, I think he's got top Leo placement. So if he has, this is definitely him, what I was getting up. forward movement moving away is this female noted to get any of his any of his um, inheritance I won't be surprised don't want to say she's carrying. Tell me more, please, spirit. She could have also been, you know, the one who helps the supplier bring stuff. Is she also someone who doesn't look after him, but if a female around him, then maybe he's not sort of nurturing. There is people involved. ask the question again because I keep asking it and the card I get asked for comes out after the first card I wanted I don't think his I don't think his drink or um, painkillers or anything was spiked, okay. Allegedly. I'm getting really tired doing this. I'm getting a headache and really tight throat. Like it's really um I'm 
things now. I actually think he might have been strangled as well or like he'd suffocated. I wonder if what he was taking like um made his neck his throat his uh what do you call them the tubes swell up where he couldn't breathe anymore. Definitely a suffocation. Also, you know, like a, a strangulation or, you know, suffocation from the swelling of his neck area. Um, I also, uh, this woman was involved and she does help bring forward or supply or whatever. Then I asked, um, this is a card I've been saying if it comes out, it, it will confirm. There are things that we're not seeing just yet, and I think that's probably because the autopsy is not out, but maybe it's out now by the time I get my videos <laughs> But I'm recording this and you're seeing it straight away. I think are we the 3rd of November? Yes. <laughs> so, um... I knew this card was going to come out um, halfway through and um, representing the lunar eclipse energies, okay? But also there's something not quite hidden here about him passing, about just before he was passing, um, you know, and I really feel strong head pain and my throat closing up, okay? Um, this woman was involved. There was negligence, whether it's her, whether it's him, in terms of whatever happened, okay. There was some kind of negligence. Um, need to ask this question again because the answer I get is very strong but I'm not sure I asked it right. So at the time of his passing, there was someone there. There was someone there. And there are interesting cards too for the answer. Um, the reason I'm wondering whether to interpret this is because I asked a question to be shown a card and the card has come up. But I feel like these tell a story as well. Bit of betrayal. Bit of an awakening and the addiction calling him. With whoever was around betraying. Let me ask a question. So there was someone there at the time of his death. Which means I think there's someone there prior as well.
So I was asking the question as I was asking the question of was someone involved in his death? Um, I wasn't even looking here. I had my eyes closed and Spirit reminded me of the moon that some things can be, stay hidden. But then we did get a clear answer that there was someone there at the time of his death, regardless of what they say, okay. Maybe, you know, if they say that no one was there, maybe someone was there when he passed and they left and then they came back or someone came back. Um, there was a feminine energy in that day. Now let me ask a question without asking for a particular card and see what story comes up to tell me what if I'm right. He knew a feminine energy was not necessarily good for him. I think he started to awaken to, uh, on it and he wanted to move away. But there was either an addiction, a codependency where they would return together. This also tells me that if there was a feminine energy, at one stage she left the home. I don't mean left as in moved out or I don't even know if she was living there. But I think that day she'd left at some stage and maybe she returned because there was someone there at the time of the death. At the time of the death meaning when he took his last breath. Um, and it could be an earth sign or someone around the money. Remember, I asked who is, it would be interesting to know who's going to get his inheritance. Is his mom alive? Maybe his mom's going to get his inheritance, actually. Some of his inheritance. I won't be surprised if this feminine energy tries to. Um, I think he felt something was going to happen and there was a heavy burden around that. Heavy burden around that. He felt a heavy burden that was actually getting him more caught up in the addiction where he was trying to actually walk away from it and stabilise his mind, body and also his soul. And I think his passing was a bit liberating for him, as horrible as that sounds. Now, I think we've got the Justice card. And mental clarity around certain things. I think there's also going to be some breakthrough communication around this. And it's going to be probably from the authorities, the people that do the autopsy, etc. Um, so I think there's a bit more to come there. But I don't know if they've already said it apart from drowning, if they've added anything else. Um, I want to ask one last question. My head does not feel good. Like just immense pressure.
think there might be some question around this feminine energy that was there. Yeah, they are looking into it. So obviously they're looking into the autopsy. The devil, the addiction at the bottom of the deck reminding us that there was that involvement. Um, I think there was a need to surrender at some stage and the police authorities or the autopsy and testing is looking into it. Um, there could be more news coming in around this um, and it could be we wait a few days but then it does rush in. And it's likely to bring a bit more clarity to the situation as well. Again, a partnership caused the death. So I wonder if this was also assisted. If someone says they don't know what happened, the world, the completion card, um, they know what happened. They know what happened. The devil, the addiction took him. So I do think there was forces that, um, you know, were not in helping positive, keeping himself grounded in this 3D life, like I started off this reading. That's very clear. The, the, the addiction was a big part of this. Um, but there is a partnership around the dealer, the people that bring this stuff, whatever, maybe it's prescription, whatever it is. Um, but I think there's also a partnership of, Someone knew it, and he knew that it was going to go this way. There's something about someone's energy here. Um, and he did have choices. We're not going to say no. But there is a bit of surrendering there. And there's also, there is someone in the energy. So I think I'm just going to leave that there. I mean, um, see what, I think, I mean, if there's, if anything comes out of it, then I might do another reading and also channel through the energy. I must admit, like, my throat is so swollen um, and the pressure at the back of my my head and at the front of my head is really really immense um so i do think there was you know enough scoring as well so interesting read i'm gonna actually go in to see what his top placements are in leo maybe a moon in aquarius or scorpio because I can't see him being a sun, maybe Aquarius, but I think it's a Leo. Uh, we did get the Leo card as well, we've got some other cards. It'd be interesting to see, I don't even know what his date of birth is, but I'm sure I can get that up. Um, so, um, I wonder if he's got eights in his numerology as well. I feel like he's a kind of number one type of person and then an eight. Anyway, everyone, so that's what I have for you um, on Matt Perry. May everyone rest in peace and I hope you have a lovely day. Check your tarot sign readings. Don't forget to leave just an imagery. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't take much from you for the content that I provide. And um, it, all my information in terms of my services or donations to help keep the channel going, um, as well as myself, is in the description box below. And let's see what we come up with next. Um, and I hope you have a blessed day wherever you are in the world. I'm going to disengage from the energy right now. And um, have a lovely weekend. Week, afternoon, morning, evening, whenever you see this. Take care and bye for now.